first inexperienced prosecutor will lead the probe into the deadly officer-involved shooting at the Beaver Creek Walmart. Now, that is just one piece of new information we learned today regarding the August 5th incident. Conflicting accounts of exactly what happened that Tuesday evening. Police say John Crawford did not follow commands to drop a weapon, while Crawford's family and attorney argue otherwise. A second life lost during the incident. A woman fleeing the store died of a medical condition. We have live team coverage for you. Natalie Tyndall and Marsha Bonhart are bringing us today's reaction from both the Ohio Attorney General and Crawford's family. That's where we begin. Marsha, what is their request tonight? Well, today we learned what was on the Walmart surveillance video the day John Crawford III was shot and killed by Beaver Creek Police. Family attorneys say the picture showed John Crawford was not menacing when he was shot, and they want everyone to see that. Attorneys for the family of John Crawford III say they want more from Ohio's Attorney General Mike DeWine. Release the Walmart videos publicly, which shows the events leading up to John's encounter with the Beaver Creek Police and the shooting. They also request putting the investigation in the hands of the federal government. In order for this investigation and prosecution to be fair and unbiased, we need Mike DeWine to refer this case to the Department of Justice, not to a special prosecutor, but to the Department of Justice. According to attorneys Michael Wright and Richard Schulte, only portions of the surveillance video were released by Attorney General Mike DeWine to them and John Crawford's father. As one of the reasons we want this case referred to the, the United States government and the uh, United States Attorney's Office is because Mike DeWine has handpicked this prosecutor. That doesn't mean that his investigators and the people his control are the people he's controlling aren't still running this investigation. The attorneys and the elder Crawford say the video shows the younger Crawford shopping in Walmart without menace and that he was leaning on the butt of the gun with the barrel pointed at the floor talking on his cell phone. Yes, yeah, extremely tough, especially after viewing the video. You know, uh, my main concern is uh, what, what's the delay? What's taking so long? Um, frankly, I see stall tactics. Attorney General Mike DeWine held a news conference of his own today, explaining why he is concerned about publicly releasing the surveillance video. Marsha Bonhart, 2 News, working for you.